everything that has been going on with Ripple and XRP is all starting to make sense. Things are finally adding up. To get us started today, we have a pretty exciting tweet from Albatross that talks about 589 confirmed and the coming of the Great Reset. But exactly what is this 589 we keep hearing about in the XRP community? This is the number of days from the 22nd of December 2020 when the SEC first filed the lawsuit against Ripple on claims of illegal sale of securities to August 2nd, 2022. Why are the numbers 589 crucial though? And why do these numbers seem to carry such significance in the XRP community? Once you look through different sources on the web, it will all start to make sense. We'll get into that and a whole lot more shortly. But before that, let's roll that beautiful intro. As always, welcome back to MoneySide, your favorite crypto news channel. If you're new here, welcome to the XRP Army. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our daily crypto news updates. Whenever I'm trying to make this 589 work, I'm always struggling with it. You know, we could really kind of figure out where this was going last time during the bull run by putting on Fibonacci analysis. We could just see it, it just reacted perfect. Then it had that extra little burst. So let's overlay the fractal and let's see if we can get the same result. I really doubt it though. So yeah, everything, everything looks good. Then that one last burst. Well, about three years ago, Bearable Guy 123 hinted at Ripple XRP's price prediction of 589, which shows cryptic or prophetic occurrences that would occur. But it appears to be all about the COMEX 589 rule. 589 is a number that seems to have importance in the ongoing lawsuit between Ripple and the SEC. This could be a settlement date or even a date when the judge will pass an important verdict regarding the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. While many people subscribe to this school of thought, the ex-CTO of Ripple sees this from a different place. The 589 trend has been awakened again in more recent times following a statement from ex-Ripple CTO Jed McCaleb who engaged in a selling spree of the digital asset XRP since falling out with Ripple and XRP. In an interview with CTC News, Jed McCaleb said, If you think about it, it would be really stupid if I sell it all. I mean, what if it really goes to $589 a token? I could be rich. Former Ripple CTO and co-creator of the XRP ledger, Jed McCaleb revealed on Friday that he is keeping his remaining 5 million XRP just in case it rallies. He continued, I don't know, maybe it's this inflation, maybe it's the cost of gas, you know. But I just have this feeling that holding the rest of this XRP is going to give me and my family more security. However, this should not be taken too seriously as it turns out to be a joke. CTC is a satirical platform that is renowned for providing its readers with laughs by making jokes about happenings in the crypto space. Because it makes everything interoperable, it makes it where there's like more competition, which will make it where there's more, uh, where, where there's more benefit ultimately for the consumers. So what exactly is COMEX? It is an abbreviation for Commodity Exchange. COMEX is the principal market for trading metals, such as gold, silver, copper, aluminum, platinum, palladium, and so on. It is a division of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange Group. COMEX Rule 589 is concerned with the price action of specific metals in relation to their liquidity and day-to-day -day trading activities. We all know that when a financial crisis strikes, it will damage the liquidity of practically all products and services in the financial markets. And Bitcoin, with its current transaction speed of three to six transactions per second, is not the answer for that kind of liquidity. That is the answer, Ripple XRP, liquidity on demand. This is where Ripple XRP will enter the spotlight and launch its own task or mission thanks to its rapid transaction rate of 1,500 transactions per second and the Lightning Network, which will boost transaction speeds up to 50,000 transactions per second. So as, as I think most you know, XRP or Ripple fans know, Jed McCaleb was uh, the original brains behind it and came up with the idea. But this would have been back probably in early 2012. Uh, Jed reached out to me uh, one, one day. I was, I was actually back visiting in California at the time, I think, or, or I was a couple of days away from heading to California, actually. That, that's what it was. I was in Japan when he reached out to me and he said, hey, I've seen everything you're doing in the Bitcoin space. Uh, I have an idea on how to make Bitcoin that doesn't require mining. He said, uh, he said that he thinks mining is wasteful and so he wants to make a version of 
Bitcoin that doesn't require any mining. And so my initial response was, sounds great. Uh, how can I help? Right. So he said, well, let's let's get together and, and meet for that. And I said, well, I, and he was in living in the Berkeley area at the time. And I said, well, actually, I'm, I'm headed to California in you know, two or three days in the future or something like that. So I said, why don't we meet up this, uh, you know, this coming week once I'm back in California from Tokyo. So I arrived in California and we had agreed to meet for lunch at a Korean restaurant. Uh, and I think we were supposed to meet at, I don't know, 11 a.m. or noon or something like that. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm good at plenty of things in life, but dealing with jet lag is not one of them. And so I, I still feel horrible to this very day. I, we were supposed to meet at 11 and the jet lag just caught up with me. And I, I didn't just oversleep by a little bit. I overslept by a lot. Wow. And uh, I was supposed to be there at 11. And I think I didn't wake up that day until maybe two in the afternoon or something like that. And so, Roger, what you're telling me is, is we were all this close from none of this happening because of Roger Veer's jet lag. <laughs> but 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 to Jed's credit, he was he was so gracious. And when I woke up, I contacted and said, Oh my God, I'm you know two or three hours late for our meeting. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I told him I can come now if, if that still works for you. And he said, Yeah, sure, no, no problem. So it was about an hour drive uh from, from where I was as well. And so I drove and, and we had lunch and he you know presented his his vision for, for XRP. And at the time it didn't even have a name. Uh, it was just called NewCoin, and in fact, the folder I, I created on my hard drive to keep track of all the what eventually became XRP and Ripple stuff was called NewCoin for a long, long time. And I think even our contract, our initial con first contract there, was just called NewCoin. Was uh, what we were referring to, to XRP and Ripple in that contract. But uh, Jed definitely had a, had the vision and uh, was really, really good at connecting the right people uh, to make things happen. So I actually paid the salary. Um, for uh joel katz is his screen name and uh, his 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 real name always escapes me because i originally know him from the from the um bitcoin talk forms in the early david, days so. david schwartz david schwartz as you can hear from this interview between xrp army news and roger ver the bitcoin jesus he talks a lot about his role and that of jed mccaleb in the formation of xrp it might be challenging to connect all the dots at this point but if we look hard enough we can see how everything has been moving seamlessly towards a bigger goal. But looking at the state of XRP's price right now, expecting that 589 is how high the price of XRP might go might be a bit of a stretch. Realistically, at the moment, no one is really chasing after 589 in XRP price. Investors who got into the asset early enough will agree with me that even with a $20 in XRP price will make the insanely happy. But if the 589 actually does happen, that would be mind-blowing and would definitely make a whole new lot of crypto millionaires. However, is this a reasonable price for XRP at the moment? You can always let me know what you think in the comment section below. Ripple has fought them to the nail and is winning. We've never seen this before in the SEC. And so you got to wonder, what's going on here? You know, why are they winning? I'd say it's the people behind the scenes. and. You know, I don't have names for you, or at least ones I want to divulge, but, um, you know, there's big money behind this. And I'm being told that the adoption of the XRP token to be money transferring for banks is around the corner after this. And that's not from the XRP army. I want to point that out because everybody would say, yeah, people have been saying that for years, right? They say it. My, these sources that are coming to me from different places across the world that are high level connected individuals, these are not XRP army people. This is not bearable bear or, you know, bullable bear, whatever his name is saying XRP to $589. These are real connected people in high positions that are giving me this information. Give us the bull case by the end of the year. Obviously nobody can tell the future, but what is the bull case for XRP if everything goes their way? Yeah. Bull case for XRP would basically be if by it's 64 cents today, by the way, just looked it up. If by October, before October, okay, this needs to actually be sometime in September. They come to an agreement with the SEC. They get the slap on the wrist. They pay the fine, but the case is done. It's kind of like with Tether, right? We had the Tether FUD forever. And then they settled the case and everybody's like, well, I mean, we can keep making up FUD, but it's not going to matter. New York already said, whatever, it's fine. Pay your fine and move on. And so we saw it with EOS as well. If that happens for XRP, and it, you know the case specifically against Ripple Labs, all that gets cleared away. Suddenly that price suppression that has been going on since uh, I believe November or December, early December, I think it was when it, when it broke somewhere around there, the price suppression that's kept XRP from reaching an all-time high 
will be totally gone. And then like a rubber band, everybody will be able to trade it and it'll pop right back up. The most bullish case for the end of the year, um, I think it's gonna sound crazy. Are you ready for me to sound crazy? I think $30. I think I think that's the most possible bullish case for XRP by the this year, $30. Just recently, there was another anomaly in the XRP network. According to the crypto analytics portal Sentiment, during Friday's trading session on the crypto market, XRP's tokens trading volumes consistently rose until first reaching 17 and a half billion XRP and then breaking the record by reaching 18.6 billion an hour later. Sentiment's post urged us to keep a close eye on the price of XRP, which may have been unusually active due to an abnormal increase in the trading volume. However, nothing of the sort has happened except for a 5% increase in XRP since Friday, which is generally within normal limits. We'd like to think that maybe it was a sign of insider trading or a test run for some corporate or banking project on the XRP network, especially since Ripple specializes in working with such institutions. Either way, it seems to be a rather positive sign given that the jump occurred at the bottom of the XRP price. It will definitely be worthwhile to keep an eye on the XRP ledger and Ripple activity now in order not to miss out on any news that could explain this anomaly. XRP's price shows an extremely optimistic setup which forecasts a retest of its all-time high and a double-digit target. On-chain metrics show that the whales have been accumulating Ripple, adding credence to this thesis. As always, do your own research and always trade safely, guys. Please keep in mind we're not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. You can always let us know what you think in the comments section below. Let's have a conversation. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and please click on that subscribe button below. And turn on notifications so you get informed whenever we post our amazing content. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next Money Side.